You know me as Filthy Rich on DeBoss Garage's YouTube, where we build complete one-off vehicles from the ground up, touching every single piece of the vehicle. But who you don't know is Aaron, who does all the work behind the scenes. Uh, he's always behind the camera and behind the computer and makes the Boss Garage happen. Now, he just picked up this sweet 2014 Town & Country. We're gonna get him to do the first oil change on it using Fram's ultra synthetic oil filter. We're also gonna change the cabin air filter and show you guys just exactly how easy it is. Here we go. All you need to know is you have a 3.6 liter in a 2014 Town & Country. So we'll head to Canadian Tire, um, grab what we need. Uh, generally on your oil fill cap, it says what oil you need. So we need a 5W20. How many kilometers on this sweet ride there? Yeah, 190. 190,000 kilometers, which is just over 100,000 miles. All right, let's go to Canadian Tire. Okay, so before you start, Draining your oil, make sure you have everything. Some gloves, oil on your fingers is bad. Drain pan, some ramps are super helpful. The right filters, oil, and a funnel. And you might need a filter wrench, but with this van, it is a cartridge filter. So a 13, 14, and 15 millimeter wrench generally does every oil pan that I know of. And uh, because we're using the ultra synthetic filter, it pairs good with synthetic oil. So. Uh, first things first, let's uh, put the car up on ramps. Just nose them right in. Now these ones have a nice little indent, so it keeps it uh, keeps the tire in place. That's perfect. It's a good idea to chalk your tire behind and take your keys out of your ignition. Now before you start uh, draining your oil, you want to check your engine oil level as it sits between the oil changes. If you're down a lot of oil, you've got an issue, you really got to make sure that you top it up between oil changes, but you want it to be in the safe area. A little bit of losing oil is typical, but if you're not on the dipstick or low, um, there's an issue. And your oil filter is right there. So underneath here, one side, is your transmission. The other side is your engine. And the drain plug is right there. So lefty loosey, righty tighty. Be careful not to strip it. And what sometimes helps is just banging on it, but not on your fingers. That's tough. Okay, you wanna do the double wrench? Jeez, who does your oil? Hercules? <laughs> you can take the wrench off now and catch the oil. So what you want is the edge of the pail basically right underneath because the it's oil gonna is gonna out. shoot out towards the camera, all over the camera, watch this. Now, Aaron, how much oil are you gonna get on the gloves? Well, I'm holding it strategically. <laughs> yeah. It's important to know that Aaron didn't know a single thing about vehicles until he started uh, the YouTube channel and now he's uh, probably more educated than most. <laughs> Bottom, sorry for the crappy camera work, which is why Aaron does most of the camera work. Yeah, we're switching roles here. <laughs> yeah, the 3.6 liter actually takes six. six quarts or six liters. Yeah. So you might need to get two things of it, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, we can let that drain. Let's change the oil filter. Let's grab the adjustable. Now the best tool is the proper size for it, and Justin will get away with it as long as they didn't over torque the snot out of it. There we go. You spin that right out. Once you've got it, quarter turn, you should be able to grab it with your fingers. Put it in the... Put it straight in the out? Yep, just straight out. There you go. You wanna make sure that that O-ring comes with it. Uh, you wanna make a look, make sure that it's not, uh, there's no massive steel pieces or anything in there, but um, no, basically no. just pull it out, pop the new one in. So the synthetic oil filter is their top of the line oil filter. It's actually two ply of synthetic material over top of a steel mesh yep. an and an O-ring. So pop that. And pull an O-ring out. No, because that's on your can. So pop, pop the filter in. And you want to you want to feel it kind of push down 
that O-ring that little in nipple. the end of the hole at the bottom. Click. Perfect. Now grab your can and you'll get a new O-ring for around the outside. See it? So you gotta pop that off. So just pop the little O-ring off. There you go. Now what you can do too is very carefully pop the screwdriver in behind it and then just run the screwdriver around in a circle. And what that does is keep the O-ring from uh, spinning. All right, pop it back on. So there's no need to, to bottom it out and then reef on it. Now, if you're replacing a normal spin-on filter, you wanna make sure that the O-ring on the face of it comes with the old oil filter and that you lubricate the O-ring with a little bit of oil. Good? Yep, perfect. Go back underneath. Uh, all the final dribbling should be done with the uh, oil coming out. Put your plug back in again. Now this is very important. So you wanna make sure that your drain plug is nice and clean. And if there's a washer on there, make sure that that um, comes with the drain plug. If you hear a little ting or any noise, a hard noise hitting the pan when the oil comes out, there's a little washer on there and you need to scoop that back out again or replace it with a new one. But I don't think there is on this one. Aaron, you got a rag, maybe just wipe this off. Now, you also wanna make sure that you do not cross thread this going in. So what that means is if this is going into the oil pan that you don't put it in like this, it should be able to spin in all the way by hand up until the very end where this bottoms out. Um, if you cross thread it, it will leak and you will have an issue. Even though there's still a tiny stream coming out, that's okay. That will tell you exactly where to put the drain plug. And you can see Aaron's putting it all the way in by hand. It means that it's not cross threaded. I'll just tighten it. Yep. Bottom towards the driver's side. How tight? Just uh, As tight as you can get it with one wrench and one hand. Don't yeah that's good all right grab your oil carefully slide it out from underneath grab a funnel make sure the funnel is clean stick your cap on and it's going to take six quarts so you can dump all of the the five liter jug in there and then your one liter look at that nice steady pour now we're using gas truck oil because Minivans are just pickup trucks with more seats. Add your one liter and then we'll fire it up and check the engine oil. Here we go. Uh, check your oil before you, you fire it up just to make sure that it's on the crosshairs. Hold your dipstick level so it doesn't run out and you want it to be in the safe area. Hard to see with new oil. But pop it back in, we'll fire it up. Let the oil go through the filter and um, then we'll check the level again and make sure that we're safe. And that's it. All there is to it. Fire it up. Yeah, generally look underneath, make sure that you got no drips or anything running out. And make sure that there's no oil coming out of your filter. And you can shut it off. Okay, you can shut it off. Check your oil again. Hard to see, but as long as it's in the safe, you're down a little bit, so we need to put a touch more in it, and that's because now the oil has gone through the filter. If you're low on oil and it's not quite to the top, as long as it's in the safe, you can go and grab more oil if you don't have any on hand, but uh, Aaron's okay, he's right on the F. All right, so I know you guys are gonna tell me to cut a filter open, so I'm kind of curious too. The Ultra Synthetic is actually um, two layers of synthetic fibers over top of a steel mesh, so I just wanna show you guys that. So there's one layer, and then you can hear the steel mesh there. Very hard to get off. So these are rated for 20,000 miles. I would never recommend anybody to do 20,000 miles between an oil change. They're just saying that this oil filter is good for that. I would change it four to 5,000 miles tops, even with synthetic oil. I still feel that oil is cheap insurance, for engine longevity, um, but it's really nice to see the steel mesh in there with the two different layers. All right, cover back on. One more thing, uh, because we don't know how, uh, what condition this van was in before Aaron got it, and a lot of stop and go traffic, you're getting all the fumes in there from the cars around you, and um, you wanna keep your family uh, breathing nice clean air. So your cabin air filter is behind the glove box. 
So squeeze the outsides of the glove box together and it'll drop down. Your cabin air filter is that little box right there. So there should be two tabs on either side. Pull that out. There you go. And then just that filter should slide out. Keep, uh, pay attention to which way it's facing when you pull it out. You, know, you get all the leaves falling out. Oh, look at that. So definitely time to change that filter. Um, Spiders making nests in there. Yeah. All right, so the Fram cabin air filter has the Arm & Hammer baking soda added to it so that uh, counteracts bacteria a little bit. So it'll have you smelling good. Uh, good for two years, but I would change it um, whenever it starts to stink. There's, there's a lot. You gotta make sure that there's no rotten sandwiches under the seats and no, uh, no old apples and whatever else that could be your your reason for a smelly van but once you've cleaned the cabin then uh is the only thing left i would jump to the air filter cabin air filter right away go down all right guys check the links in the description to find out everything you need to know about the fram oil filters and all the parts needed to do this job and bam now if you if you want to save some money, you can definitely do it yourself. Fram is very competitive with all their prices, but if you don't know what you're looking at with your car, it's still a good idea to bring it in once in a while because when people do oil changes, they look at all the other things um, mechanically on the car, brakes, tires, alignment, uh, air filter, serpentine belt, transmission loop, fluids, things like that. But there's also other videos to show exactly how to do that if you want to do that at the same time. Um, Time for a wash, and uh, you gotta have the family riding around in a nice, clean caravan. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, check out all the other videos on the channel where we build cool stuff. And uh, now Aaron is officially, he hasn't got his hands dirty. No. No, not at all. Not even on, up a little bit. Oh, a little bit. A little bit there. Look at that. Stress, yeah. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching, guys. Here we go.